hindi na siya yung mahirap i- i-market. Kasi, ayun nga, naghahanap na yung tao ng ano eh, ng healthier alternative eh. Kahit, actually, uh, pag pumasok ko sa isang restaurant ngayon, lagi silang merong plant-based or option. vegan option. Yes. We're not even a kitchen people before. Uh, she's a CPA. Ako, at that time, ano eh, uh, computer science yung course ko. So, parang malayo yung relation sa, sa mga courses namin. But then, okay naman. Uh, kasi ano eh, uh, maraming, at that time, marami yung, ano eh, yung, yung looking for, for, for healthy, healthier, ano eh, alternatives. It's a way of living that we both chose to adopt dito sa lifetime na to and uh, we wanted to promote peace starting with our plate. <laughs> Ayun po. So, how can we parang uh, ask people to turn plant-based if we will na- if hindi ramin ipapakita kung paano. Maraming challenges ma actually in um, running a business. Una-una yung supply chain natin, di ba? With the inflation going on. Ang hirap natin maging at par, lalo na kung plant-based diet, ang katapat mo lang talaga, katapat mo talaga dyan is yung meat alternative. Eh. So, kung mas mura yung plant-based, mas ma-appreciate ng mga tao, which is, should be mas mura kasi uh, lahat ng pagkain natin, pwede natin isource sa palengke. Hanggat kaya, we ano, we look for the cheapest or nicest supplier. Ayun po. Tapos, we make our own in-house uh, plant-based meat alternative. And of course, kaya rin naman po nagiging ganyan yung pricing niya. Um, Siyempre, kasama na din dyan yung papasokan natin yung mga government uh, uh, requirements, di ba? yung mga payments natin sa taxes, yung mga ganyan. Overheads natin, ayan yung medyo talagang inakakamatay ng business, eh, yung mga overheads. Yeah. So, expenses are real sa, ano, sa running in a business, whether Um, vegan, plant-based, or not? Yung mga regular namin na, na mga, mga practitioner, mga vegan talaga, like, like si Sir, mm-hmm. konti lang po sila compare sa mga Gusto non-vegan na, ano, na naging regular na namin. So, sa, sa, ma- sa map namin nung ano, demographics, majorities are from Quezon City, Manila, Del Makati, Paranaque, Tagig, ayan po. Tapos, uh, more Pasay. of women's. Women. Uh, mga babae. Yun Between yun 24 years old to 44 years old. And a big chunk, the next chunk is from our senior group. <laughs> Yung 60 to 65 years old, we are really happy that they are trying plant-based diet. Meron silang option. I'm checking on the sales. Mga nasa 100. 100 packs, ganyan po. Pero Ibig sabihin nun, a la carte, yan ma'am. Pero pre-pandemic, yung lunch delivery namin is around 400 to 700 a day. Wow. Pero very, ano, ang That's, ano, price. Set meal. Yeah, set meal yun. Like, two ulams and a, and a rice. At kadalasan po, mga employees po talaga. Na offices. Around, yes. Yeah, offices. Hindi na siya yung mahirap i- i-market. Kasi, ayun nga, naghahanap na yung tao ng ano eh, ng healthier alternative eh. Kahit, actually, uh, pag pumasok ko sa isang restaurant ngayon, lagi silang merong plant-based or option. vegan option. Yes. So, so marami na rin. Yung demand for, 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 ano, for business like this is, ano, uh, malaki na. Actually, uh, Last Saturday, uh, I, jo- I enrolled. I was enrolled by my wife sa business ano sa Ateneo. Um, It's tam- a master class yes. kasi. Yung, restaurant manager. Yes, yung dinaskas nung nung prof namin doon sa sa business side. Uh, plant based is booming in the Philippines. Parang uh, sobrang ano, sobrang boom nung plant based na businesses ngayon. That's our motivation actually. Uh, yung mamit yung ano. 
yung ma-meet yung hanap nila sa meet. Uh, ano ba yung taste ng talareta? Hindi ko siya ilalabas sa kitchen pag hindi siya at least ano, maglalasang the regular talareta. Uh, hindi ko ilalabas yung sisig pag hindi siya lasang regular sisig sa labas. Sa Naiya Terminal 3 kasi, uh, arrival at departure, uh, nagsusupply kami ng apat ng variety ng, ng products namin. So, it's available at cafeteria. Uh, ano yun? Uh, parang it's a set meal. You can order from, from the cafe na ano, greenery kitchen supplier. Yes. Sobrang ano, sobrang. When we launched there, uh, sobrang maganda yung reception. Apo, so finally, we have ano something to eat sa airport. Di na daw sila magugutom, mag-aasid dahil may makakain na daw po silang plant face while waiting sa mga loved ones nila na parating and them waiting para sa flight nila. Yun. They can Then, even ano, uh, bring it with them. Kung with them, sa pre-departure area. We'll be launching some new products. Um, and then second, we'll be joining again more uh, bazaars. And then third one, um, that would ano pa, depend on um, the expansion progress of our partners with uh, from Terminal 3, maybe in Terminal 2 or 1, or maybe in, in, Clark. in Clark. So we're looking forward to more, to more resellers. Uh, or more establishment we can supply.